Oh boy, that storm catch us off guard. It came up out of nowhere. I didn't even know it was, I knew there's a chance of rain today, but I did not know it was gonna be a tornado today. That's the thing, uh, living out here in Oklahoma, you just never know when one of these tornadoes are gonna pop up. Uh, I'll show you some footage if we had to take cover immediately. Um, we really didn't realize until our phones start blowing up. People were texting us and then the, uh, and then the weather service, whatever alert system was sending us messages, take cover immediately, tornado in your area. Um, so I'll show you that footage and then we're gonna look around at some uh, after the storm footage. We'll come over here and check on the pigs and I'll show you guys what's going on with that. You have my phone? Come on. Be careful. Go in there, Hayden. Watch your step. Care careful, girls. Party just got started, huh, Vincent? I'm freaking out, bitch. saying there's tornadoes all around us, but you know how that is out here in Oklahoma. The wind can pick up to 50 miles an hour and bring it on. Take shelter now. Um, we gotta get down to the storm shelter. The, the breeze just picked up. Um, hey Dutch, I, uh, I picked up a hitchhiker on the way over here and probably saved a life. We started hailing. Yeah, where's he at now? Dropped off at some house. We're going to. Where are you coming from? From Briar. <laughs> Whoa, I guess it's not over at Oh, that door. <laughs> Oh, we're trapped. Oh. Don't die. Really? <laughs> like I said, don't. if we need protein, we have Aiden. Right? It's okay. <laughs> no. Can you not open the door? We're just you know, being cautious in case there's a nader. Well, send, send Aiden out first, if that's the case. Looks really good, guy. I'll see you inside. Is it clear? Sure. Is it or not? I don't know. Like Brady said, what am I? You don't see it? Do you see a tornado? How's the wind? Try for the flashlight. Is that lightning? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I was about to go in there and watch the TV though. There's no power. All right, got, hey, I think it's time to get out. No. It's gonna be a little rain out there, but we got alligator to eat, Vincent. So. I'm pretty excited about that. All right. Let's go. Brandy, get off Facebook. Let's uh. There's no internet. I was trying to. Uh, no phone, Heather. Come on, it's wet. I'm washing my stuff. Holy crap, come on. Yeah, it's wet. Ah, tornado's gone, now it's just raining. Dang, Brandy, what'd you do to your feet? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta make a walkway. Oh, I gotta make a walkway when it gets rainy and wet like there it is. Muddy sucker out there. That's a future project. Look at my 
my bag. Vincent, what happened to your new shoes? You gonna try some alligator, Vincent? Hey, you got some alligator? Right here. Walmart sells it. What is this? I just told you it's alligator. Well, that was ridiculous. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. That's the best thing I've think? ever had. What do you think, Aiden? Have you ever had alligator before? It's pretty good, isn't it? Jeez, Brandy, you a little muddy. <laughs> they sell this at Walmart. Alligator nuggets, Cajun style breaded, Louisiana. If you didn't know, we're here at Oklahoma and we don't get alligator. I have, came across that today and I was like, uh, I gotta try that. I've had alligator before and I really liked it. And I'll be getting that again because it was awesome. Okay, so you seen uh, we all took shelter. It started pouring down rain. It was lightning. Um, there's actually some damage just up. It would be west of us from, from a tornado, I guess. Um, I haven't, we don't have regular TV. We just have Netflix and all that. So I haven't seen any footage of the actual tornado, but there's been reports of a lot of damage. So um, that's probably actually probably like 10 miles from us. So you just never know when these uh, quick storms pop up like this. It's actually a pretty big storm. Came up from Texas, I guess, uh, going into Missouri. Oh, it's a bad deal. So if you're watching this and it's coming your way, just be aware. Um, that's one thing. We're usually prepared and we weren't unprepared. It was just one of the things I didn't know it was going to be severe like it was. So uh, with that being said, I'll show you guys what's going on with my pig pen, how it's doing. And I'm glad I moved it because I'm going to show you why. So we're out here at the pig pen. You can see the little piglets are doing awesome. Um, my little shade cloth has survived the storm. They're running around. I threw some of my broccoli heads in there. Um, that bolted uh, they haven't really ate them yet but i just gave them some fresh grain a little while ago see there you can see they are rooting suckers i gave them about a half of oh i probably gave them oh two pounds of food right there i guess and they're they're eating some of it early now they're just kind of rooting around but you can see this is where i had the pin originally this was the end of it going all the way over here so this was the concern i had um, this is one of the reasons why I had it over here because I knew it holds water and I was wanting to make a little wall, have it make a, uh, like a natural waller form. But after having some concerns, if it gets submerged, the, if the netting gets submerged under the water, is it going to short it out? Yes, it will short it out for sure. I talked to Joe from Premier One. Um, he said, yeah, if it gets, it gets in there, it's going to short it out. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to move it. So it's a good thing I moved it because it does get pretty deep right there. And I'll show you this netting. Um, this netting actually has like a four inch gap on bottom um, where there's no electric. Uh, so it can go up to you know three and a half three quarters inch of water before it hits the actual electric part and it'll be good So let me, let me show you that so you can see that black strand in there. It's not electrified It doesn't get electrified to that first strand right there. So that's good So yeah, it can actually be underwater somewhat um, But that for sure would have went in the water and that would have been an issue because if that shorts out that shorts out right there Then the pigs if they go to test the fence, it doesn't shock them. Uh, they're liable to get out of here and we don't want that they are just rooting suckers right now, trying to get some worms or whatever else they can get. Yeah, they can root all this up they want. We don't ever, I don't ever use any of this land right here. I just mow it, make it look nice. Eventually, I'm going to have all that taken down, cleaned up, and I have, have a nice chicken coop out here. But right now, this is going to be the new pig pen. And you can see it's working. It's working really well. I've been here two days now plenty of room that's more room than my old pigs had so they got plenty of room to root and i can actually move this if i want to see so yeah, i don't care if they root all this up it doesn't matter to me um if i, if I ever want to move the pig pen it's all rooted up like this i can just get my buddy's tractor like that over there tilled up a little bit smooth it out so good to go that's that's the beauty of having 10 acres you can pretty much put your animals anywhere you want uh so but this is this uh setup i got right here i, I want to do this to show that anyone can raise pigs and you don't have to have a lot of land. You don't have to have a lot of land. This is this is a hundred foot netting. It's 15 by 35. You could put this in your backyard. Um, I know um, there, I know several channels that raise pigs in their backyards. They live in town. Um, as long as it's uh, not against your city ordinance, it's not a big deal. Um, your neighbors might not be as happy if the stench starts getting out of control and you don't uh, address it. Um, but you can address uh, the smell with these pigs, no problem. And you can have minimal smell with pigs. Um, that's a misconception. A lot of people think they just stink real bad. They do if you don't take care of them properly and take care of their pen like you're supposed to. They're actually starting to eat some of that broccoli now. Well, they were. So they are all laid up in the in the uh, doghouse. They all get in there. They just sleep all the time. They eat and sleep and drink. 
That's good though. I love raising pigs. Pigs are by far my favorite animal to raise. I just absolutely love watching them. Um, they got their own personalities and uh, they're just and they're playful and they're fun. And these ones were all these were bald, bald raised. Um, so they're a little they're tamer than what I'm used to, so that's good. Um, we, I had the girls out here yesterday trying to pet them and stuff. So they're they're coming up. It's good to be it's good to be hands-on with your pigs. That way, if you want to tape them, measure them, um, get the size that because there's a there's a, a way you can measure them and tape them around their belly and their chest and all that, and you can get a pretty close estimate how much they weigh. Um, so if they're wild, you're you're gonna have a hard time doing that. Um, so it's good. We're gonna look. They're trying. They might test the fence again. They'll test it all the time. Like they, they they'll send one in. Like he might go in there and try to test it. Let's see. Yeah, I thought they were going to test. He put his little nose up too. It didn't shock him, but he needs to get full blown. And um, they've been shot plenty of times. They know. They're just having having a good time. If you guys are if you guys are thinking about raising pigs, I highly suggest that you guys will not be disappointed. Very easy to take care of. Pretty low maintenance. Um, they'll poop and pee. Well, they'll poop. They'll use the bathroom pretty much in one area of the pen. Um, they won't just go all over the place. They won't sleep in it. All that stuff. Unless you just got them so confined, they can't do it. Plenty of room right here. They can do whatever they want. And I'm pretty impressed with that shade cloth so far. Um, that's I want. I wanted to do that to show um, you could raise these out here uh, in in a field anywhere, as long as they got shade and some water and some feed and pen. I mean, they're good to go. That's how easy they are to raise. Got mosquitoes are coming out now. Uh, we got the girls out here playing. It is a wet sucker out here. Um, I wanted to show y'all to give you a little awareness along with the tornado. Uh, just be prepared. We're always prepared. We're just caught a little off guard, you might say. So everything went good. No one that we know was injured. I don't have even heard of any injuries or anything like that. But it's a very active tornado season this year already. Um, so I already know it's going to be a bad, bad spring uh, going into summer. Uh, usually you can kind of play it out. You can kind of figure it out from the very beginning. Um, you have very mild or it's going to be active. This is going to, I think it's going to be a really active year. You guys, I hope you guys liked this video. I'll keep you all updated on what's going around the farm. Um, if you liked it, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed, I ask you please subscribe right there, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next video.